Right, the first field set will hold name, email and password fields. Start by adding four label elements to the first field set. So, the first field set needs add the four label. So, label, closing label. Oh. Make sure that pulls and tags label. Closing label will be a backslash. Closing label. A closing label. Submit and go to the next challenge. Right, so add the following label elements. So inside here we enter. Enter. Savings, it's a yes, yes, you can have this gorgeous sofa for half price at three first. Nine. Nine. Yes, there's a fabulous saving on this one. Now, six yeah. Yes, you'll find out the half price for it at every club. It's fitted free. Your first name is free for a year with four years free credit and guaranteed Christmas delivery. Enter. Yes, there's a double discount on this sofa. Oh, wait. As label elements are in line by default, they're all displayed side by side in the same line. I was wondering why that was happening. Making their text hard to read. To make them appear on a separate line, add display block to the label element and add a margin of 0 0.5 rem 0 to separate them from each other. Ah, uh -huh, I see. So, label parentheses display. Colon, space, block, semicolon, and then margin, colon, 0 0.5, REM, 0. Hmm. Ah. And immediately started stabbing his Hey, yabba dabba do. <laughs> ah, got it. So you make the labels you go side to side. So enter the first name, or last name, enter your email, create a password, and then you need to put CSS in. So it's label, parentheses, display, colon, block, semicolon, margin, 0 0.5, REM, 0. Uh, semicolon. I don't think that mm, no, might matter. Right, so nest an input element within each label. Be sure to add each input after the label text and include a space after the colon. I can think of his words today. How we beat his dead and 